Thanks for staying with us. So today is our Celebrity Friday, and we like to discuss celebrity gist. And what's hot today is Bonner Boy. Bonner Boy uh, was seen saying that 90% of Nigerian and Afrobeat songs lack real-life experiences and substance. He has been widely criticized for that statement uh, from various angles, and people are just saying he had no right to say that. But well, there are various parts of this conversation that is worth having, and you can join the conversation uh, by calling us on the numbers on your screen, um, 081-076-416-79-0902-416-3440. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. So as I said, there are various parts of this argument. So some are saying that uh, it was wrong for Bonaboy to say that because um, he came, he, he, he wrote to Limelight on the backs of Afrobeats, and um, for him to now say that people don't have, um, that there's no substance in what people are singing, is, it was very, it's very selfish of him. Others will say, well, maybe he's right in the sense that everybody's just singing about hand partying, women, girls, you know, there's no real uh, message in this music anymore, like we used to say back then. Um, there's no real substance, you know, that they don't have real life experiences which they are sharing. So you can look at it in different ways, but we'd like to hear your own thoughts. You can call up on the numbers on your screen. Um, let me come to you, Top. I know you like Burner Boy, um, but um, what are your thoughts on the comments and how, how did it make you feel? So I like Burner Boy, so I always try to find a way to defend mm. him, you know. I, I always try to see another perspective to what he said, but um, I think the biggest... The biggest issue with the statement is the generalization. What he said is a fact. Generalizing makes it look like no. People come, people, well, the, the conversation around um, a few, if you, if you had said a few Nigerian Afrobeat artists sing songs about good time and have no substance, I can understand. But when you generalize like that, you generalize what was your source, where you came from, then there's no way to sugarcoat it. And it he it, it has a track record of generalizing. It has a track record of being just, let me just say my mind. And we have to be able to separate the music, which I love from the person who might have a few challenges with how to communicate mm. best. So okay. in separating my love for his music and um, his personality, I'll say that Bola Boy really needs to work on how he makes statements and he shouldn't cast aspersion on people who, like him, a few years ago yeah. were trying to get up in the yeah. line, you know? And if you want to come from a place of, I am born a boy, now a global artist, being on Grammy stage, being on BET stage, all that stuff, and you want to give feedback mm. to people in your industry, then help them understand the importance of singing songs that convey our true stories, mm. not aspirational music. Okay. Because Let me come to, I mean, what are, what are your thoughts on this um, born a boy's um, statement? The first thing I did, was to Google music. What is music? Music is a vocal or instrumental sound or both combined in such a way as to produce beauty or form, harmony and expression of emotions. Do I have to put any real life experience in it for it to be music to people? And if it's saying that um, all the African songs lack or Nigerian songs lack substance and real life experiences. I think that's relative because what is real life experiences to you might be different from my own experience. I guess experience. it's coming from the part of Afro beats was something that fell at birth and it was something that um, came from his own stories and his, the, the issues he had with Nigeria, with the country, the corruption. And that, that, people are now talking about what happened. So that, that's, that's the foundation of what a lot of these people are using today. So maybe that's where it's coming from. This and, you, you guys don't have any experiences. We are the ones that have serious experience. I don't know if they are not experience. <laughs> but, I well, but he's trying to say that there's, there's no substance. You're just singing about nothing. Well, I think they have diversified they have diversified into and they have made Afrobeats even that genre sound better than it used to be. So we hear a lot of um, artists singing about depression, anxiety, how they grew up from nothing to something. So real life experiences differ. Mm, right. So if you're looking for something deeper, maybe you should look for an artist that sings, you know, deeper, <laughs> deep songs. Let me come to you, Toby. What are your thoughts on Bonner Boy's um, comments? Um, his comments are, I think that he has the freedom to say what he wants to say. I mean, freedom of expression is, is standard, but freedom after expression, <laughs> we don't know because people will take on that um, statement that you've made and now try to color it and then give meanings to what they say or what you've said. 
But one thing I want to highlight is that sons of old, I mean, Nigerian veterans also, when they, I mean, so, King Sonny Ade, Onye Kaunwenu, we would remember their songs today and see the content. Mm. And even when we're in parties today, when they play those songs, you'll be like, ah, this one is song. Really? Oh, really? really. <laughs> <laughs> but now, it seems like we're just winging it. We're just having a feel of, okay, a lot of things combined together. I would give credit, however, such that um, Nigerian artists today are doing well, especially for songs that maybe have their verses in a local dialect or their choruses in local dialects. You see that they're even relatable. Sometimes you see foreigners sing the songs and you're like, do you even know what you're just singing? singing. Yeah, but because it sounds great to the ears, it sounds pleasant, people just want to associate with that. And then I was also going to say that um, our songs today are characterized by vulgar words, mm -hmm. nudity, and you can't even say you want to watch a musical video Absolutely. in front of a yeah, child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, now you Don't go be embarrassed. You'll be embarrassed on the, on the behalf of the entire population, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> but I think that if we're able to get that right, having the mix between the right kind of music, the content, and what is being displayed, mm. I think Nigerians would be more right. receptive to songs. Let me, let me, let me, let me borrow um, from, from this gentleman, Motolani um, Alaki, from his tweets, because he, he, he's saying that um, Bonaboy is being very selfish. And the reason why he said that, let me even read exactly what he said. Um, the world is watching. And your words can make or break the movement. There's a current movement where Afrobeat is giving the attention hip hop has globally, right? He's saying that your words can make or break that movement. The greats don't shut down the door behind them. You also don't need to tear a building down to stand out, especially when you're going to, to um, especially when you're going to tear the building down with lies, deceit, misinformation, and perhaps ignorance. So what he's saying is that listen. We are in a very unique time where the world knows Afrobeats. You hear it in Haiti, you hear it in Brazil, you hear it in Austria, Absolutely. you hear it in Australia, you hear it in India. Like, so, and you are one of the poster boys for this movement. Mm -hmm. So everything you say at this time can make or break this entire industry. So as much as you might make sense that some of these songs are, maybe they, they don't have substance, and exactly, just like Demola said, what is substance to you might be music to me, or what is um, emptiness to you might be music to me. So, Bonner Boy maybe also lacks the understanding of the responsibility mm -hmm. that he has, because there are a few of them, him, uh, Whiskey, where's well, the other guy, David Davido, yeah. and the other, but you know, there's just a few of them that are on the global stage, and even the other ladies too. No, no, we need to give credit. Uh, we can, we, even though the Davido and um, we, um, Whiskey and Bonner Boy might be on the global stage, the video has given a whole lot to this I industry. He has, lift, he has done a lot to lift other people, create platforms for other people in a way that Whiskey or um, Burner Boy haven't done in that same way, the way the video has done it. Mm -hmm. But like I said, the feedback might be necessary. It might be necessary because maybe he's listening to our songs and he's wondering, ah, this is, we, 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 we fought tooth and nail to get here. Don't come and make them see us as if we have nothing to offer. Maybe it is the way it was being okay. said. Or Maybe to whom it was, it was said. To. to whom it was said, how it was said, generalizing that all was wrong. 90% yeah. is not a fact. Because yeah. people still say that there's this particular guy, um, so -so, so -so, that sang the so -so. The guy yeah. is always talking about his depression. Exactly. He's talking about how to get out of that emotional state. Mm -hmm. and, he's, he's a, he's a, and he's trending. So you, it's not all. It's not like a night. There's not 10%. There are many okay. people still singing Let me take this call from realities. Kenneth. Good morning, Kenneth. Thanks for calling. Good morning, madam. You're live. Yeah, my first time to call. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm not a follower of uh, regular song, but uh, I think uh, maybe we should. I need volume. Yeah. I have to sit on national TV. He's not a follower of secular songs, but he's thinking something that we did not hear. <laughs> okay, I think we lost that caller. All right, so um, 
but she's taking us to a very, very solid part, mm -hmm. which is taking it away from what Bonaboy said and discussing our music industry or looking at the fact that our music, our, the words of our music, we, sh we cringe when our children sing it because they sing it with innocence. They don't understand the meaning of the songs. We watch the videos and we cannot, dare not. In, like when if a new person comes to my house, I read the riot act. We don't watch this channel. All these are our music channels. I don't watch it in my house. It is not allowed. We don't do this. And because I don't want them exposed to the level of nudity that we show as a norm, the over-commercialization of music to the point where people don't bother writing anymore. They just get high mm -hmm. and vibe, as in like, I'm just vibing. Style. And in the song, they're talking about how, in, from this, I just did studio, I just high, I can't vibe, and now, as in like, so a new generation of artists realize that they don't need to do much to blow. Yes. You just need to be high and vibe. And well, let me go on a quick break. When we come back, we continue our conversation. I'll take a few calls. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 